Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a handbag update review, I guess you can say, on my Gucci Mini Madalise handbag, which I got a year ago. I believe I got this a year ago in August. So it might be a little bit over a year ago. So I just want to do pretty much an update on this bag, pretty much how it has kept up, um, the wear and tear of the bag, etc. etc. So if you're interested in watching, go ahead and stay tuned, boo. So this handbag is the Gucci Matalase, Matalase, I might be pronouncing it wrong, um, mini handbag. Um, this is from the Marmot collection. Um, not really sure when this collection came out, but there is a size that's one size bigger than this one, and it is the small version, and this is considered the medium. So if you do want a full review on this handbag, I will list inside the cards up above as well in the description box, so you can go ahead and watch the whole little review. I also did a what's in my bag. So... I had this bag for a year and I just want to do pretty much just show y'all how it has kept up. So I'm going to go ahead and empty out um, the things that I do have in this bag because I use it today. So the exterior of this bag has been doing wonderful for the past year. It has not stained or anything obviously because it's black. Um, the leather is still super duper soft and supple from the day that I got it. There aren't no scratches because this leather is kind of hard to scratch, which is why I got it. I love it so much. And the hardware is also still good. But one thing I did find an issue about this hardware was around here. So one issue I did find about this chain is around this little loop part because they have this extra chain just rubbing around it all the time and I use this bag pretty much on an everyday basis. It has actually started to fade and y'all can't really see it. I don't know but it's right here inside. It starts to fade into this silverish color and so I actually did go to the Gucci store in um, San Jose and I asked them about it and they said you know sometimes that can happen just because it is the um the metal or whatever material rubbing against each other so it will eventually wear off but a year is kind of too fast for me sis so he just said to just bring it back um whenever i'm ready and they can also send it out to repair now i didn't send it out for repair right now because i am not from california i'm from new orleans louisiana so and he said it's gonna take three months and right now it's september and i leave in november so we're not going to do it here because I'm not going to see my bag in three months. Um, so, yeah. So, I will get this situated when I do go back to my hometown in New Orleans. Um, but for right now, it's still pretty good. I just really noticed this situation maybe like a few weeks ago. But other than that, the chain is in a beautiful condition. And also, oh, I just noticed it here too on the actual... On actual strap. It's actually kind of silver here too. But the focus does not want to... I think it's getting there. But it's kind of hard to see on camera. So yes, the brass here is completely fine. Everything is fine, like exterior-wise, except the little um, brass part here on the outside as well as the pieces here. So if you don't know, this bag does retail for $9.80 um, before taxes. And to say is that much and it's doing really, really good for your number one, I'm really excited to keep pushing forward with this bag. And I really feel like it's really worth the money because it really is spacious. And I keep a lot of things in here. It's really, really spacious. So let's go ahead and talk about the interior of this bag. So the interior of this bag, unfortunately, um, I kind of stained it a little bit, probably like a few few weeks into me having this bag but it's not too too bad so this is how it looks inside the bag um there are some stains at the very bottom and a few stains on the actual side pockets and inside hope the camera can focus for y'all just a little bit okay so it's kind of focusing so I do have some stains oh it looks so much worse <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so I do have some stains in the inside of this bag, as you can see right up in there. And then I have stains like all in the bottom. So this is a microfiber material in the inside, if I'm not mistaken. I also did speak to Gucci in San Jose about the interior staining. And it actually said that they do have someone to clean it, not specifically Gucci per se, but in the area that I was in, in Santana Row, they said that they had like a place to actually, um, they refer people to to get their inside of their bags clean but supposedly microfiber is supposed to be really easy to clean which is why they use that a lot as far as in their interior purses um i did not want to even test out doing the whole diy on cleaning it myself because i do not want to ruin my bag and i feel like if i do something myself I may regret it eventually. So I'm just leaving it as is until I find someone to get it clean um, closer to me because I'm in Sacramento, not San Jose. But I did go to San Jose because that's the closest Gucci store near me. So other than that... Um, other than that, the bag has been holding up pretty good. So I say this year has been doing really good. Even the zipper is still smooth as butter from day one. It's still, it's still oh, so good. And even the zipper itself, you know, to say I use it on an everyday basis, it has not faded or discolored at all it's still the same color which is so beautiful so if you do think about purchasing this bag i definitely suggest purchasing it because it is a good bag and it has been holding up really really well um and to say you know it's leather you know this nice soft supple leather it stretches out over time but not like loses its shape it's really really good so i do suggest purchasing it if you are thinking about this bag this is a good bag so i hope this did help you out for anyone who is thinking about purchasing this bag so if you did enjoy this video go ahead and give this video a nice thumbs up and if you haven't already go ahead and click the subscribe button down below i think it's this side or this side you'll see the red button and click the bell button so you can be notified every single time when i post a new video bye guys